I picked Andover because I think there's something to be said about an academic education that is enhanced by a social education and emotional education. When I came to Andover, I just got this sense of community and the opportunities here amazed me. I don't really know any other high schools where I could be growing human brain cells. I stepped on campus and I had my tour and I just felt like it was a community that I belonged in. The founders of Phillips Academy knew that knowledge without goodness was going to be insufficient and we know that even more so today. It is crucial that we send out students into the world who are of great character, who have this sense of goodness that means that they will use that knowledge that we impart to them and that they themselves develop in a way that serves the greater society. This fall we were working on designing our own experiments with the help of Dr. Marshall Walker. So I did all these tests with a bacterial molecule that if you put it onto brain cancer cells, it stops them from moving. What we found could be a potential life-saving treatment for people with brain cancer. I've always been really interested in math and science. In fact, I feel like my biggest takeaway from the PA experience is really understanding why humanities matter and how beautiful they are. This term I'm taking drawing, and I've never done art before, and it's amazing to actually see myself working in the flow. We have succeeded in attracting students who are drawn to and motivated by the challenges that we put in front of them. I think our responsibility to them is to think about how it is we are able to live together in this community. We have students who have some amazing stories in terms of life experiences and what drives them when you're thinking about the individual versus thinking about a whole school community. There are times, I think, for students where things can feel in conflict. When you get here and realize that not everyone has grown up that same way, um, it takes a certain amount of self-reflection and you have to understand certain things about yourself before you can hope to understand things about other people. We are constantly talking with kids and constantly in a dialogue with them about the big issues of the day. We are not telling them what knowledge and goodness means, it's a dialogue and we're figuring it out together. Last year, I was selected as the 2017 Loran Fellow. I spent four weeks in Tanzania working in women's health and education. I got to help and actually assisted one delivery. It was the most intensely beautiful, terrifying, heartbreaking, life-changing moment of my life, and it also helped to solidify for me my decision to be pre-med. When you're thinking about goodness, you're thinking about other people's perspectives, that anything that you do, you're looking at it through the lens of not just yourself, but other people that would be affected by whatever it is that you're doing. I look back on who I was when I first got here, I'm almost a completely different person just because I was introduced to points of view that I wouldn't have otherwise. And along with that, it's not as if I've changed my values, but just that I've been given the opportunity to think more complexly about the things that I believed. The world needs institutions like Andover. We're preparing citizens with knowledge and goodness who will be a part of the solution to figuring out how do we make a fractured world much more whole. Andover students are a key to that equation.